Hey you right guys, Fruit Punch is Joe here, and today we are watching and reacting to episode 7 of Anne with an E, season 3. Uh, just a bit of information before we jump into the reaction, I'm aware that three of my Anne with an E reactions have been blocked by, by Netflix, they were blocked. And they emailed me and I, got, I was like, they were threatening strikes with it, so I had to get it sorted very quickly. Uh, and basically someone at Netflix got in contact with me and said, um, I'm allowed to keep the videos on private for now and then make them public when and with an E airs on Netflix. So that'll be, I think it's like the 4th of Jan or early Jan when that is available on Netflix. So if you miss those reactions, I think it's to the previous two episodes and then episode two, episode two, I think. Uh, if you miss those ones, just check back early Jan. They should be up there. I'm going to unprivatize them then. And I'm going to be a bit more cautious going forward with Anne with an E reactions of how much footage I kind of use. Uh, even though I did, I did use under 10 minutes, they're kind of claiming that I didn't, but if you actually watch the reaction, you know that I cut out, or I stopped the video of the episode when I'm talking at times, so it is technically less than 10 minutes footage. But I think they just look at the video length and they're like, oh, they've used more than 10 minutes, it's, like, it's not the case. Um, so yeah, hopefully everything will be smooth sailing from now, but I just wanted to let you guys know that I can't unprivatize those three reactions until January, unfortunately. Um, but yeah, check back then. Episode 7 though guys, this season's been insane, so I mean we all know that, <laughs> we all know this season's been incredible. If it continues as it is, I will say it's been the best season so far, just because it's touched on so many different themes, which I thought has been really interesting, obviously with the cliffhanger last episode as well, um, what has Anne done with this newspaper and stuff about Billy, Ooh. <laughs> I'm intrigued, so that was like one of the, because I'm with an E as much as I love it, it doesn't really end on cliffhangers a lot of the time, it just, you know, it's like a nice packaged episode every, every time, so when it does end on a cliffhanger like that, you kind of take notice, I'd say more, uh, so yeah, episode 7 guys, if you enjoyed, remember to leave a like, if you're new, remember to subscribe, I'll be reacting to obviously all of them with an E until the series finishes, in hopefully 20 years, uh, and yeah, I will have uncut reactions to I'm with an E as well, the three episodes that are blocked, uh, are still available on Patreon, so if you want access to those, uh, then link to the Patreon page will be down below. And yeah, let's do this. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> it's hard to be done. Yep, well, I agree. Uh, I'll go straight to bed. <laughs> oh, God. Marilla's gonna know as well which bit I added, surely. Well, as the saying goes, in odd we trust. <laughs> yeah, that's a saying. Here we go. Oh dear. She shouldn't have done this without talking to her first, I feel. Uh, I don't know. Oh dear. I want to read. Tell me. Oh, hello. Let's go. See? This is what I mean. She went rogue. Uh, she went rogue. I don't believe it. You girls are always wagging your tongue. Oh, oh shut please. up, you dildo. I'll attempt to avert disaster and speak with Harmon. This isn't about whose fault it is. A York? I didn't stop. We'll simply do whatever it takes to get him back. This par these parents, Jesus. That was a choice. Now you have a reputation. Oh my God. We called this in the comments that the mum would be a twat about it. We called it. How bad could it be? Yeah, oh my god. You are just deluded. Better take a gander. <laughs> what about poor Josie Pye? I never mentioned her. The article oh, is about okay. all women. If it is about all women. She didn't mention Josie. Why was it only Josie who ran out of the church crying? Yeah, so you didn't talk to her. This is a problem, man. You just... Uh, Billy needs to be pulled down like a rabid dog. It's a miracle. Thank God we won't have oh, it's her. sister. By requalifying Josie's reputation. Billy like, huh, huh, maybe I am just a twat. I can think of one smell that's worse than male desperation. Go. Go in. Hypocrisy. Oh! I need some air. <laughs> She's a boss. I wasn't even thinking about Josie. That much is clear. Yup, Diana. Diana's mud. Whoa, okay, let's, that's, no. What? If you slap someone, you're a twat, so he's... <laughs> one, one way to get people's attention. This isn't about what Anne wrote. This is about what's fair. What's fair? 
My piece is literally and precisely called What is Fair? Anne, it's time to listen. <laughs> I'm listening. Um. We can talk about equality without ruining a girl's life. Oh, so now you have an opinion on equality. It's the same opinion what? I probably would have had yesterday had you bothered to ask. Interesting, because I could have sworn I saw you negotiating for an attractive new parcel of land. Uh, I mean, wife. Right. <laughs> What's she on about? Oh, now you believe in equality like you did before. Fertilizer column. Don't fret. This is a farming town. It's a very popular topic. Mm. Can't wait to read about that one. Thank you for meeting on such short notice. Rachel, if you piss me off, I'm going to be pissed off. I recall an article on the savage natives who run around in our woods. To oh, shut up, you old twat. Old people are just something else. Her name was Mary. I have relatives who fought in wars. I fought in wars. <laughs> shut up. Oh, my God. We hold off on repossessing the press. The community has enjoyed seeing themselves through the pages of the new Look at them all. I actually want to behead them all. Busy during these idle summer like you line up 20 old people, you get one big blade and you drop it down on them all. Seems like you took the article to heart. Oh Hysterical my interruptions. All in favor. Just a minute. I... My... Mrs. Lind, why don't you run along and deliver the news to Miss Stacy from one woman to another? Oh, shut up! Yo, actually kill him. I was meant to be scared of the monster, but... Oh, I I okay, I'm cheered up now. Happy days. Didn't you love that the weather mirrored the emotions the characters are feeling? I, I <laughs> he just enjoyed the well, book. I like it when the creature steals a dog sled. You're a handsome creature. You have that in your favour. Did she just indirectly call him stupid? If we could think of something else to do. Instead of talking? Um... <laughs> oh, no, no. This is about men. Mm -hmm. Feeling uncomfortable with women. With modernity itself. This is censorship. Let's protest. Let's burn everyone to the ground. What do you think about all this, Matthew? <laughs> Matthew, come on, pipe in. I reckon you've heard from about enough men on this topic. That was a reasonable response. <laughs> I came over to tell you that the board will only let the newspaper continue to publish if I'm fired. Mad. Oh, Jesus. I remember this little place. The place Billy destroyed, by the way. What's she doing? Is she gonna ride on planks of wood? The weather? Hat fashions? Oh my God. No references to Animal husbandry. It's good they fired her. Is it though? It started with Billy Andrews disrespecting Josie Pye. Anne should have left well enough alone. Anne stood up for a person who suffered a cruelty. That person Thank could you, easily Gilbert. Used. Women matter on their own, not in relation to a man. Whom here disagrees? Oh, she's someone speaking sense. To say stop and be heard instead of pushed, derided, and told that a man knows more about our basic rights and desires than we do. What do you think, Moody? Do you know more about- Golly, Gil! Oh my god! I'm- oh, <laughs> You piss yourself I now. certainly know more than that. Women are not made whole by men. Women are made whole the moment they enter this world. You know she'd stand up for any one of you. Even in spite of what you're saying about her. She'd do what was right. That's- who she is. <laughs> oh, he's getting into the theme as well. We're sorry. We didn't what? understand. Oh, everyone loves it. <laughs> We're sorry. <laughs> he's like, yeah, I'm sick. We're protesting. Let's go. 5,000 bushels or 127 metric tons. Oh, no milk. I'll do it. Oh, you can look at that tea and see there was no milk, you idiot. Father, Billy is why. I'm saying this. If you just allowed me to work with him. A woman could never have the authority to represent. A woman can you mean? Fucking Jesus Christ. Now it's cold. Now it's cold. It's been about a minute. Oh my God. Yo, men are such babies. I want to cry. <laughs> that sentence kind of works as well, actually. The tea's cold. Ugh, fucking shut up. Poison him. That's what you should have done. Dip poison in the tea. Josie, may I ask who's calling? A sympathetic friend. 
Right. And she's like, no, I actually need a name. Don't try and be arts and crafts with me. How did you know to write about equality and dignity? It's not as though you've had a lot of experience with that. I came to understand that I was the same person the whole time. I'm loved now, but when I wasn't, it didn't mean I wasn't worthy of it. No one but you is allowed to dictate what you're worth. Mud. Anne, Anne, can I talk to you? It's gonna be about Diana. Need advice, then. It's about my girl. Oh! Everything has been good. I like her so much. We walk together. We read the same book. Is I think I'm gonna know. It's confusing because she seems to like the kissing part, but not the part where we talk. Oh. Oh. It makes me feel like I'm not good enough. Oh, Jerry! <laughs> that's true. She's rich and I'm poor. So how could she ever really like me? Jerry, stop. Frankly, she doesn't sound like a very nice person. Oh, God! But Diana's your best friend. No, Jerry. Oh, fuck. Diana? But she didn't even tell you. You see, she's ashamed to be with me. Oh, dude. <gasps> they can't take your beauty away from you. Oh, you actually look like a twat. Go away. They can't take your beauty from you. I'm just, oh my god. So that she listen to Anna, but maybe she will join. I liked you too. I can fix this. Want me to fix this? How about you just leave? That's... I don't want anything from you. Least of all redemption. Right. <laughs> you came over here and went, I still like you. <laughs> Great. Well, where we go. What's wrong? Who are you here to see? Me or Jerry? Oh! Why didn't you tell me? I, I don't know. I, I thought the kisses meant something, but then they didn't. A die oh, off, Anna. Stop, You're not making any sense. Jerry came to talk to me about a girl who was being cruel. And I never in a million years did I think he was describing my true friend. Of who mm, are you? still me. Being cruel to Jerry, not on our watch. Is that what you're doing with me? Biding time until you can step into your preordained life full of architecture and fine cheese? No. Fine cheese? You're nullifying our whole friendship over this one small dress bag. You never survive stepping into society with an urchin like me. Oh, here we go. Again, as Shirley Cuthbert and her tragical tale of woe. Jesus, that's chill. Because the world always lets girls like you win. If you were my friend, you would understand. Oh, Jesus. What oh, is going on? Story. At last. I don't know, who do we side with there? Oh, Jesus, this is a mess. It's mine, and I am respectfully asking you for it now. It is only yours, should I choose to give it. yours, should I choose to We ladies didn't have to lift a finger. I am all for it. Great. Well, we don't vibe with you, so. Have faith. Just a suggestion. I'm not telling you what to do. <laughs> we got everyone? Sorted, there you go. Damn, Diana won't show up though. Reckon Josie will, and Diana won't. Oh, sorry. Oh, everyone's joined in. Sick, cool. <laughs> Yo, they got loads! Bust it down, guns blazing. Yo, look at them all, they're all gonna shit himself. Probably die. If you don't mind, for heaven's sake. There we go. What the devil? This is an outrage. That's what this is. Oh, you're a bloody outrage. Put on your nappy, mate, and shit yourself. We are not here to provoke. I told you, there she is. Tried to silence our voices. Well. Ha! We have a message for you. What does it say? What does it say? Freedom of speech is a human right. Okay, cool. Sorted. Take the photo. Go on, get up there. Oh, oh what are you gonna do? Now get down from that. <laughs> right. Oh, that's perfect. That is perfect. Thanks for the suggestions. Oh, Gilbert, yo, mad. 
mad. Control your children. Or not. They are not children. And they are not out of control. Oh. <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> They're waiting for him to just drop dead. Can't wait. I shall miss being under your wing when I'm at Queen's. Oh, dude, I love it. Fuck. <laughs> Oh, God, I saw him. I copped him in the background. I reminded them that you always find a way to make things right. Speaking of which, shouldn't we be arguing about something right now? Probably. Yep. Oh, an actual conversation. Can start? I can't think of anything. Me neither. Huh. <laughs> After all these years, who knew you'd make such a good... T-E-A-M. Oh, with the spelling back in the day. Yo, they're not gonna. They're not gonna. They're not gonna. There's no way. There's no way. There's no way. Winifred is a lucky girl. <laughs> I'm white! For today and everything. I should get back. You should. That was the moment. Why is the show doing this? We're there. We're ready. And the show's like, not yet, not yet. Every episode, not yet. Snatching it away. Oh my god. Gilbert knows, Anne knows, we all bloody know it. It's just, if they don't kiss by the finale of this season, I, I'll i be the one protesting. And I won't be by myself because oh, you'll, you'll join, I know you will. What's this? What's going on? Oh my god. Please. Don't tell me that an old guy has set up a bunch of people to steal their printing press thing. Are you serious? Oh, you left your cigar there! That's evidence! Oh my god, they're actually that salty. And the fire's spreading. Why is the shut? No, I can't wait another week. Was that fire spreading? Is the school going to burn down? Or am I overthinking that? I'm not overthinking that because that was a fire. Oh my god, I swear to god, fuck. Oh, it just keeps getting worse. You're there like, it has a nice moment and you're like, oh, finally, everything's all good. And then the show just snatches it away from you. Fuck, why couldn't you have just ended with Anne and Gilbert kissing? <laughs> There's an idea, and then the writers just want to toy with us over and over again. Stop this. Yo, I'm saying stop it, but at the same time, I'm kind of like, the writers are sick. Fun fact as well, like, the writers of Anne with an E have the same job as the writers of Riverdale. They're writers. Look at the difference. Writers of Riverdale, not even on camera because they're that poor. Like, I'll do one little pixel. There you go. And then the writers of Anne with the Knee, like, way off camera, they're just sick. Uh, I can't actually think they are in the same category of job. How? How? You look at this show and you're actually like, writers created this show, and then you look at Riverdale and you go like, crackheads made this show. But I don't know what that has to do with anything, I just find it baffling that they have the same job. Um, yeah, there we go guys, that is episode 7 of Anne with the Knee season 3. Another boss episode. That was so good. So good. Uh, kind of leading off from the ending of episode 6, which we knew it was kind of going to do. Um, I didn't even think at the time with episode 6, like at the end, thinking that Anne didn't really consult Josie about the whole thing. So I knew it. And then when the episode started, I was a bit like, that's not going to go down well with Josie. Um, yeah, she said she didn't use her name, which, I mean, that's that's a good thing, but it just... I think most people knew just because of how everyone reacted as well. So, uh, yeah, but they seem on good terms by the end of it. It's funny how Josie was the one to join them by the end and Diana was the one to leave simply because of her and Jerry. I actually sided with Anne for, I think, that argument being like, you, 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 you're trying to push yourself away from Jerry just because of him being poor and you being rich and all that stuff, which, yeah, I get it. It was like that back in the, back in the day. But... Um, yeah, it's just how Jerry described her and then Anne being like, it doesn't sound like you at all. Um, 
So yeah, very interesting. I think that's their fir their first big argument, which I, it was hard. It was hard. It was like because they've been friends for so long, but we didn't even think they would ever have an argument, and there it is. So. <sighs> Bit of a shame. I, I hope that lasts long. I hope they don't make amends in episode 8, which might sound a bit harsh, but it give it a couple of episodes to kind of, you know, see what they can do with that story of them not being friends and then have them come back together over something. So, uh, yeah, all that stuff was great. All the, like, old people, old men just being shook by their protest was so good. They were proper pooing in their nappies. You know they were. And then they went and stole the printing for how salty i wonder who else as well because it looked like uh young guys were doing it it didn't look like all old people old people would have been able to lift that anyway their arms would have fell off so yeah people are on that but it was the guy with the cigar he he kind of left evidence there and it looked like a fire was spreading at the end so is the school gonna burn down mad mad um what else? Oh, uh, Adam Gilbert was just class as always. They just utter class. I love them. Uh, Matthew, as I said, Matthew was great. So yeah, overall, just a solid, solid episode. I loved the theme of it. I loved the, Anne's speeches and just the script was wonderful. The acting was great as always. Just another very solid episode. Still a little bit salty that we haven't seen, you know, that Christian school thing storyline. I just don't, like... Every episode, I'm like, maybe this will be the episode where we get a glimpse of what's going on there, but we just don't. Like, every episode is kind of... That's the one gripe I have with the season so far, is, like, they introduced the character, put her in that school, and now it's like, she's gone. Like, we haven't seen her for four episodes. Which isn't the worst thing, but it's just kind of like, I really liked the character, and I wanted to see what was going on there a bit more. Um, well, I, get, I don't know, we'll see what happens... I hope they better bring her back this season or have more of her this season. I'd be baffled if they don't show her till season four. Uh, but yeah, anyway, rating for this episode, I'm going to go a nine out of ten. I think it was another extremely solid one. Very impressed with this season, as I said, and can't wait to see what happens there. Another cliffhanger as well. Another cliffhanger. So yeah, there we go, guys. Thanks for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Let me know episode seven down below in the comments if you want the uncut reaction to this episode and the rest of them within these seasons one, two, and three. Then link to the Patreon page will be down below, and I'll see you next week for episode 8. Until then, peace.